Hi, everybody. We're here at Peace Sanctuary in Oxford at 940 Hummer Lake Road. And we want to feature one of our special animals here at the sanctuary. We have over 100 animals here at Pease, and they've come to us in a variety of different ways. Um, neglect cases, abuse, just uh, were of no use to somebody anymore, just discarded. And when they come to Pease, we take care of them, all of their needs, 24-7, 365 days a year. And they come here under different circumstances, and this particular guy that we're going to feature now is Woodstock, and he's blind, and he came here, and I believe he was by himself. You know, the, the, the sad thing is when you have, have a rescue, the animals come, and our care, or our concern only is for their care and taking the best possible care we can with them. You don't always know the story, and... Um, it doesn't matter. They're here, and they're going to uh, be given their best life. So we're going to talk about Woodstock a little bit. And basically, we just want to let you know that as we go into winter, whether it's a mild winter or not, the needs here increase. There's more lights that need to be on. We need heat, more bedding, food, grain, and supplements for these animals. We've lost our grass, obviously, out there for them to graze on. And a lot of them have to stay in in the winter. They just can't handle it. So we just count on the community and all of the wonderful people that visit Peas and support Peas for donations, which you could do by sponsorship and by our events that we hold throughout the year, which are primarily open barns that start in the spring and go to the fall. Our annual fall fundraiser is the second Sunday in October. That's a huge event. And we had our first visit with Santa Claus here at Peace, which was a huge hit. So we're going to talk a little bit about Woodstock here, who's adjusted wonderfully here at Peace for not having any eyes. And um, he's loving it here. He's loving the care he gets by the volunteers. So we're going to let Renee tell you a little bit, of, a little bit more about Woodstock. <laughs> so, so this is Woodstock. He is obviously our blind horse here. And some people think that a blind horse doesn't have a quality of life, but here at Peas, in most uh, blind horses, they all have a quality of life because they use their other senses. Obviously, their hearing and their sense of smell is extremely in tune to what they need. So Woodstock, when he came here, all the other horses became friends with him, and he has this uh, environment here that is safe for him, so he has opportunity to go into his stall. He has this area here, and he also has an outdoor um, area that's all his, that's safe, and he knows exactly where his boundaries are now. So he's able to go to one pasture to the other through a fence that is connected so that he can visit with the horses on one side of the pasture and as well as the other side of the pasture. So he's pretty lucky. All the horses love him. All of our volunteers love him. And he's just a really cool horse. So, he is yeah. bonded. It's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. He's here in the barn. At the other end of the barn is a, is a horse by the name of Waffles. And they have kind of bonded. And they do talk back and forth when they're in. And um, they do communicate. And the horses that are loose come in and say hi to him. They'll groom him. So he has friends that visit him and that he can talk to. So he's one of the rescues we have here at Pease. He's available for sponsorship, obviously, as are any of the animals here. We um, have uh, other horses that are a little bit limited on their sight. Obviously, he's totally blind, so he does stay in here. And when we do have our open barns, people can visit him in here. So by donating bottles and cans to Peas and our trailer out front in the driveway, which is there 24-7, every 10 cents goes to the care and feeding of Woodstock and all of the other animals here. So don't forget to donate your bottles and cans into the trailer 24-7. Don't forget about sponsorship opportunities, especially throughout the year. And don't forget about thinking about volunteering here because it's a wonderful place to volunteer. Just ask Ann.
greatest place ever. <laughs> it's good for the soul. So keep us in mind here at Peace. We're totally rely on donations and volunteers. So thank you, everybody, and hope you have a wonderful new year. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year from Peace and Woodstock. And Rupert. 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 And Rupert